Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and um, this may be familiar to some of you. Um, I don't know if that's giving you the creeps or not, uh, but it's dueling banjos, which uh, was very famously used in a film called Deliverance. Um, but aside from the film, it's an absolutely awesome, catchy little tune that's um, in the film itself. It's played an acoustic guitar and a banjo and they have this little... Um, well, dual, basically, essentially, and um, they're getting faster and playing more. We're just going to be learning that core little catchy riff. Now, the reason why I've decided to teach it to you and not put it on my five-minute guitar channel, which you can also check out as well, it's five-minute short guitar lessons, I've just included a link there, um, is because I think it's really, really catchy, and once you learn it, I think you'll want to keep playing it. And on top of that, it's a good little workout and a good little um, practice on your alternate picking, which we're about to learn now. Right, let's do this. So, okay, a little bit slower. Right, so we're starting, by the way, I'm going to label the strings, right? Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye, Eddie E A D G B E. Come up with your own system. Write it in the comments, make it as wacky as you like. The more wacky it is, the more it's likely to stick with you. Okay, anyway, we're on the B string, or the fifth string down. And we're gonna go second fret on there with the index finger, and we're gonna go second third. Now try to use the right finger, so we're gonna go index middle, rather than going index index, okay? Because it's gonna get faster later on. And the only way to get things faster is by using the right fingers and the right economy of motion with the pick. I'll show you what that means in a minute. So we're gonna go two, three on the B string, then open on the bottom string. We're then gonna go back to two where we started. So it's, then back to three, then open on the B, so that's your first new note. So it's two, three, zero on the E, two on the B, three on the B, open on the B. Back to two on the B. Then move this index finger up so that you're on the G string on the second fret. Okay, let's do that again. Then to finish off, we're just gonna go open on the B again. Okay, so one last time on the B string, two, three, open on the E, so that means holding down nothing, zero. Then back to second fret on the B, third fret on the B, open on the B, back to second fret on the B, second fret on the G, open on the B, holding down nothing. And then we repeat that, okay? Okay, <laughs> as many times as you want, or you can just kind of leave it hanging, like I did at the beginning of the video. It's up to you, you can do what you want. Um, okay, so, with the pick, now, I think it's best to use a pick with this one to get your speed up, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called alternate picking. First of all, we're gonna hold the pick as much as we can, right? So thumb right over the top, index finger coming around the back, so we're just showing a tiny little bit of pick. If we're here, we've got no control, it's gonna slip out of our fingers, fall away from my hand. So hold loads of the thing. That's it, grab the lot. Good. Okay, so we're using just the tip of the triangle on the pick, and we're gonna go, with the plectrum direction, we're gonna go down, up, down. I'll do that again. So I'm gonna exaggerate my hand movement. We're gonna go down, up, down. So we're gonna go down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Sorry, down, up, down, 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 down. So for that da da da, the first three notes, we're gonna be going down, up, down, and then it's all downs after that, okay? 
right? So that's alternate picking when we go down up at the beginning. Okay, we've got another little bit of the song to do, all right? So we've got this. We do that twice. We then got this bit. So we're going to come from the end of the riff. The riff is just basically what you've played. Then we're going to go to the second fret on the D string. Okay, to make that lowest note we've ever done. And then we're going to move down to the second fret on the G string. Hit that twice. So we've gone. Then open on the B, holding down nothing. So move your plectrum down. Then second fret on the B. Then second fret on the G. Then second fret on the B and then open. I'll do that again. Okay, so I was just showing you there how it all joins together, all right? So once you've played that part, you only do that new part once. we're back to down, up, down, up. And that's how I'm finishing, I'm just going two, two on here. But you don't have to do that, you know. I mean, to be honest with you, uh, when you're performing this, it's just gonna be more from a comedy element, I'm sure, right? <laughs> you're not gonna sit there and start, you're not gonna challenge someone to a duel on the other side of the river and go for it, are you? Um, so, uh, okay, anyway, um, that's the whole song. Remember to alternate pick and um, have fun. Thanks a lot for watching my lesson on duelling banjos. Uh, that's it said in my finest southern accent. Um, this is part of a riff series, so if you like playing riffs, basically a riff is a short musical phrase that's repeated, and it's really, really recognisable when you play it on the guitar, and it doesn't need vocals unlike sort of strumming chords. Um, then I've got a whole series of riffs and lessons. If you click on this link here, that will take you through to the website, the Learn Guitar in London website, and you can start playing a few more riffs and put a few more to your repertoire. Really good if you've got, think you've got a bit of a short attention span or you just don't have too much time to learn. Thanks so much for watching. This lesson was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so hit subscribe. See you soon, keep on playing. Thank you.